Well, ladies and gents, as you can probably tell by my attire, going back out here squirrel hunting. Got out here a little late, but hoping squirrels are still running around. It's a pretty cold day. I'm gonna see if we can't find a few of them. This one. <sighs> I saw this guy's buddy on this hill up here. I think I followed his friend up here and then this guy came running out a tree. So his friend got him killed, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> But there's definitely one more in this area. I think he's probably spooked pretty bad. So <laughs> I'm not seeing a ton this morning. I did get out here kind of late, but I'm gonna keep on pressing on, see if we can't get a few more. Smoked him, dude. <sighs> He's dead. There's another one right there. I could not get a good shot on this guy. <laughs> I think I shot four times total. Finally got him on that last one. God, that was bad. <laughs> but I did get that one. There's another one up there. I've been seeing them here and there, but the ones I do see just absolutely vanish. It's crazy. Like I'll have eyes on them for a good 30 seconds and then all of a sudden they're gone. It's nuts. I'm hoping for at least one more. I'm gonna keep walking down this way, maybe see if that one I just saw comes down a bit. But I've been here for a little while. So I'll give it a bit longer. And we'll see what happens. Dang, I got one. Almost positive there's another one in there, but we got number three. That's pretty much what I was going for today, three of them. I hit him super weird. I'm surprised he died right away, <laughs> but I always check the spot on the way out and on the way in because every single time I come in here, I at least see one squirrel. And I saw one over here, as you'll probably see in the footage, and I started chasing the thing. Like I grabbed my camera, ran up here, 
and then he walked into this tree behind me. And I'm pretty sure his buddy was on the bottom of it. It might've been the same squirrel, I don't really know, but all I know is I got one. <laughs> I'm here now with my squirrels set up on the table. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to skin them, get them quartered up, take all the pieces you wanna eat off of them. First thing you get your squirrel, they're gonna be pretty stiff when you're actually doing them. So I'm gonna kinda grab both sets of legs and like wiggle them around a little, loosen them up. It'll help you a lot when you're trying to get everything off of it. You're gonna take your knife, fold the tail up right here, and a cut right below the bone and into the skin. You're gonna wanna just break that bone. There you go. And kinda cut the hide down on each side. Make sure that's fully separated from the meat and everything up here. You don't wanna pull all the meat off with it. Now, just grab that tail, grab the back legs, pull it. I wanna pull it pretty hard. And there you go. If you're starting to pull up any meat, just kind of cut it away from the hide. You can see it kind of gets hung up right up here near the legs. And keep going. Once you get to about this point where it's past its shoulders, press your thumb through right behind this and just pull through. Same thing on this side. Press your thumb through, pull it through. Then the head doesn't really matter, so just cut it here next to its spine. There you go. And chuck that in your trash bag. Then with the backs, kind of just do the same thing. You want to just get your thumb under a part of this, grab it from the front, and just pull. There's this one. There's that one. There's your whole squirrel. Now personally, I only really take the front and back legs, so do that. Just kind of cut around this leg next to the hip. And if you take the leg, pop it. You'll see the bone pop off. And you want to get right under that bone, come through, and there's your leg. Not too much to it. Now this fur and stuff, you can just wash that off inside. Actually, before you store them, you can go like this, right at this joint right here. Bring this backwards, pop that. Kind of come in right next to this joint. Take that foot right off. There's your hind legs. Now it's the same process with the front ones. And then typically I don't really mess around with anything on the torso. If you're gonna make a stock out of it, that works, but trying to pick off all the meat from the middle section kind of just isn't worth it to me. It takes too much time, you don't really get much, so. I just stick with the legs. Now that is pretty much it for your squirrels. They're pretty easy to do. You can spend the time and get meat out of the middle, but I just don't think it's worth it. Anyway, we'll get to cooking them next. Now once you have your squirrel cut up, you can go ahead and bring all the pieces inside. I like to wash them off at this point, get all the fur and whatnot off, and then dry them off with a paper towel by just putting them in there, folding it over it, and patting them. Now once everything is nice and dry, this is when I like to season my squirrel. I use a seasoning I made myself, but if you want to just go ahead and use salt, garlic powder, and pepper, that never really fails on any type of meat. While you're seasoning your meat, you can go ahead and warm up your pan, put some butter in it, and melt that in there. Now at this point, when your pan is hot enough, you'll start to drop your squirrel chunks into the pan. It should be hot enough to where once you drop them, they immediately start sizzling. Now you want to cook these for about five minutes on medium high heat. You know the meat's fresh when it's still trying to jump out of your pan. Now when you flip them, the skin itself should be golden brown. This will tell you that you're cooking at a high enough temperature. After flipping them, you're going to want to cook for another five minutes on the other side. Once these are done cooking, you can pull them off and put them on whatever plate you want. Make sure to let them cool for about five minutes after you're done cooking. Well, that's about it for today's video. I absolutely housed those squirrel legs. 
Some people think that's not very appetizing, but um, I think they taste pretty good, so I don't mind it. But I'm probably gonna do one more squirrel trip before everything else opens for this year. I actually got it wrong. Deer opens on the 7th of October, so if everything goes well, I'll have a deer video for you within the next two or three weeks, and that is very exciting. But other than that, I'm gonna try to at least get one fishing video and one hunting video out to you guys every week. And yeah, I'm just very excited for the fall. But thank you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate all of you who watched till the end. And I will see you guys on the next one.